a smile on your face and an extra dose of happiness in your heart. No matter what life throws your way, just know that you can rise above it. We are elevating you to the happiness scale with a few tips to uplift you throughout 2022 and beyond. Happiness coach and author of Get in the Mood and Stay There, love the title, Danny DeNovo is here. Happy New Year. It's like I hadn't seen you since last year, Danny. How are you? I am wonderful. Happy New Year. Yes. So, Danny, let's just jump into it because I know New Year's resolutions are still top of mind for a lot of people or goals. A lot of people have, you know, dropped resolutions and are trending towards goals. But if we want to stay happy and make sure that that happiness scale stays on 10 and beyond, what do we need to do to start? Well, we need to stop making it hard. What's a better goal than to be happy for the year? So I have some tricks and some tips to help make it really easy for you. Okay, I'm ready. Number one. Okay, the first one is for those techies out there. It's called a heart <laughs> coherence monitor. Mm -hmm. You take this little gadget and you clip it on your ear and you just let it dangle there. And then oh. they give you this little app that helps you track your heart rate variability, which is a fancy way of saying it monitors how well your brain and your heart are communicating throughout the day. Now, during the periods where our heart and brain are communicating really well, we're better able to deal with stress and anxiety and overwhelm and all those things that throw us off balance. And when we're not struggling with those really hard emotions, we are much happier people. Okay, so Danny, that's not going to shock us if we go into a state of sadness or anything, right? <laughs> no, it'll just make you more aware of okay. how you're feeling and how that's translating throughout your body throughout the day. Okay, so I have that. And I've also been told throughout my life that sometimes you have to smell the goodness that's around. What does that have to do with our happiness? Well, scientific research has shown us that smells, the good smells, and I'll talk about that in a second, help elevate our mood. So good smells is anything that's just naturally uplifting or that you resonate with as a happy memory or a happy emotion. So nothing that brings up sadness or anger or anything like that. Anything like jasmine or citrus is good, vanilla, cinnamon. I love cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I also really love lavender. So I just keep a little rollerball vial of it in my pocket. I can take a little whiff whenever I want. And science also shows us that lavender actually calms our nervous system and helps alleviate anxiety. Okay, so I think that's better than the sea salt that my grandmother used to use all the time. You know, she would just take a whiff of it on a regular basis. I would rather smell cinnamon or lavender or lemon or orange yeah. uh, versus the salt. So what else? So you've given us two of those tips. We are going to smell our way to happiness and we're going to uh, put that little monitor on and it won't shock us. But what else do we need to know? Well, I like this one. This is called an anti-anxiety necklace. It looks like a little whistle, but it doesn't oh. make any noise. So it's great to send to school with your kids. It has a little chain on it. You can put it around your neck and hide it in your shirt. No one will ever know it's there. But what it does is it makes you slow down your breath. So you just blow into this tube uh -huh. really slowly. And what it does is it slows the breathing, which slows the heart rate and makes us feel calmer. Ooh. But it also switches our focus from those crazy racing thoughts that are going Ooh, yes. on throughout the day, brings the focus back to our breath, has a very calming effect on us and helps us come back to the present moment, which is where our happiness lives. Okay, so Danny, before we get out of here, I know you've given us three now. Give us number four and number five, those hacks, those tips for staying help, happy and healthy throughout the year. Number four is really easy. It's just beautiful dark chocolate. Oh, it yes. elevates our brain function, <laughs> so it makes it easier to deal with stress. We don't overindulge in it. It actually helps alleviate anxiety instead of all those carbs we like to shove in our mouth all the time. Mm -hmm. I like and number <laughs> five are just happiness apps. You can go on Google and just search best happiness apps. Try them out for free on a trial basis. They even have gaming built into it, so it's fun, and it's a great effective tool for kids. Okay, Danny, I'm going to put you on the spot here. What is your favorite happiness app? I like Happify. It's actually fun, and you can actually track your happiness throughout the year to see if you're doing better at it. Ooh, okay, so I, uh, Danny, I think I'm going to pull out my phone, and that's the one I'm going to uh, download.
as we go yeah, to break. Yeah, you have no excuse. It's with you all the time now. Yeah. So use it to your benefit. I got it. So I'm about to do it. Danny DeNovo, thank you so very much uh, for joining us and keeping us happy, calm, and healthy in 2022.